right, what's going on, guys? It's Jeb. Hopefully, you guys are having a good day. I'm just, I don't even really know what to do today. You know, I would have made a Mortal Kombat video today, but I was just like, man, I've uploaded so much fucking Mortal Kombat recently. So I'm just gonna sit down and talk. So, to address all the shit that was going down yesterday, I was getting tweets yesterday. Basically, every single phase member was getting tweets yesterday, uh, asking their opinions and for them to chime in on this whole Tifu situation. And me, as you guys know, I don't really like getting on a lot of different social medias. Like, I'll post my videos and shit, but you won't see me uploading all over my Instagram. You won't see me tweeting all day and retweeting and liking shit all day. It's just, you know, I'll tweet maybe a couple times in a day at most, like a few things, and I'm, I'm off. I don't like sitting there on the shit and just reading all of the stuff that's going on. It just stresses me out. I just, I'm trying to play some video games is all I'm saying. So naturally, yesterday, I was pretty late on all of the news about this whole thing with this lawsuit thing going on with FaZe and shit like that. But as somebody that joined FaZe back in 2014, I figured I would talk to you guys about my experience with everybody and just assure everybody that whatever's going on here, I, I feel like it's none of my business at all. And that's why I didn't say anything in the first place, but I feel like I should at least uh, share my side and my experience with the team and everything. So as you guys know, for me joining in 2014, if you haven't seen any of my videos up to this point, or you don't know who I am or whatever, I was making a bunch of videos before I joined FaZe. I ended up joining FaZe. My channel just completely skyrocketed. I made multiple Q and A's and videos and stuff like that, basically mentioning multiple times that I would not be where I am without faith. These guys all reached out to me, Apex, Rain, Banks, Seabass, just to everybody, all the people that were like leaders at the time, before any of this big business stuff. This was during the New York house, maybe even before that as well. And I just want to say for FaZe, these guys never did anything wrong to me. They never took money from me. They never did. I mean, the reason it was weird for me to chime in on this whole thing is because I'm not a pro player for shit. I'm not like signing contracts here and there and I'm not being signed to compete in tournaments and shit like that. So my situation is different from other people. So I can't really talk about contracts contracts and shit. Remember when I was initially asked to join, Apex was the first person I think to reach out to me. Back when I had maybe a few thousand subscribers at the time, I was gaining some traction, but the traction then is, is substantially smaller than what you would even consider traction now, because everything is much bigger than it was back then. So there was no Fortnite, there was no like all these other teams that we were invested in into esports and all this other shit. It wasn't, it was much more simple. It was just Call of Duty sniping and content creating and shit at that time. But throughout all these years, these guys have never taken shit from me. They honestly, Honestly, they didn't even need to recruit me in the first place. It's honestly, it was out of left field that I even joined the team in the first place because I was such a weird fit for the team at the time. And all of these guys still reached out to me and said, hey, we see something in you. We have a platform. We want to help you. And at that time, it's not like I was even looking for a platform, but after sitting down and talking with the guys, because I wasn't really planning on joining in the first place. I wasn't looking to join a team or anything like that. I wasn't looking for an org. I was just creating my own content. I decided to hear them out because they reached out to me. To me, it was just like, I don't know, something about it just felt so genuine to me. The, the things that they were saying, obviously I can't discuss them or say them word for word. Or These guys just came to me with a lot of genuine, just, they, they cared. They just, they wanted to see me succeed. They enjoyed me. They, they just, they believed in me and they wanted to help me. So that's my two cents on the, on the whole Tifu thing. I don't know shit about contracts. I don't know shit about any of that stuff, but those guys haven't ever done shit wrong to me. So am I leaving FaZe? No. Do I hate Tifu? No. I mean, honestly, if anything, as a member of FaZe, I probably should do a better job at going to more events, talking to more people, collabing with people and things like that. If anything, I should be a better member to the team. But you know, that's just kind of how I make my content, you know? They respect that shit. They didn't kick me from the team because I refused to go out to California and move into mansions and shit like that. They were like, oh, cool. You want to do your own thing out in New Jersey? Go ahead. You know, cool. I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. There were people that were living in these bigger, nice houses and shit like that that were sending me messages congratulating me for finding and buying a house here in New Jersey and just doing my own thing. These guys helped me and they've done nothing else but help me. So that's that. Uh, yesterday, I ended up coming across Honeybee's tweet. If you don't know who Honeybee is, he's like a content creator slash pro player in like all the NRS games, the NetherRealm Studios, the Injustice, and Mortal Kombat, and just the other shit as well. He's a really, really talented guy. Super, super good at MK11 as well, MKX, and all of them. He's a Devora player, and he tweeted out, dude, I wish Devora wasn't so shit, or something along the line. He just wishes she were good. And I tweeted basically, I mean, any character is good against me. <laughs> well, just doing my typical self-deprecation again. He said, hey, fight my Devora. And I 
I said, go ahead, let, fine, bring her. So maybe at some point soon, I'll actually be able to get into a match with him and everything. Uh, he has reached out to me, but I'm so shit at this. This is the shit that I'm talking about. I just, I'm so off in my own gaming world. I've been playing WoW recently. Uh, I started playing this one Tony Hawk mod on PC. I'm back to playing Tony Hawk's Underground 2 on PC and shit. Fuck it, I'm chilling. I gotta make that happen at some point. Me fighting a pro player on MK. If it goes badly against regular players online, this is gonna go so bad. It'll just be fun to see how badly I can lose to arguably one of the worst characters in the game. <laughs> one of the best players. So I'll have to line that up at some point. And finally, the Dark Pictures. If you guys don't know what the Dark Pictures is, it's a horror anthology created by the same people, Supermassive Games, the same people that created Until Dawn. You guys know back in 2015, 2016, when Until Dawn was out, that was one of, if not my biggest series on my channel. It was basically like an interactive choice horror movie. This game is just finding little clues, making decisions, and then just watching things unfold. All of us get to experience it as like our own unique movie, basically. So it was huge. People love that shit. So of course, anything they were going to put out in the future, I was sitting there waiting on it. And for the past year, maybe even longer than that, the Dark Pictures Anthology, I knew was their next uh, game that they were working on. So this is like, it could be one of like three games, maybe even more past that point if they want to make, you know, even more depending on how successful this whole thing is. They finally put out a trailer and a release date for the game, which is August 30th. So, you know, it's still going to be a couple months away. Wait, what fucking month is it? It's coming up on like late May now. So still got a little bit over what, three months or so until that happens. So a little bit over 90 days, something I'm going to have to figure out for over 90 days to do up until that point. I'll probably be double uploading it. It's just a series that residually just over time, people will come back to. I still get comments each and every single day on all of like my old videos constantly. So Until Dawn is one of the most interacted series I've ever seen where people are just like, I can't believe you made this decision, this, that, and the other. I, why did you do this? Why didn't you find this little clue here and there? It's just fun for everybody to be involved with. So I'm super excited for that game to come out. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all that's going on. Uh, Love Face Clan never did shit to me. I gotta fight Honey Bee at some point, maybe even practice a little bit before that. I've just been chilling playing Thug Pro. I don't honestly even know if I can upload that, even if people ask me to, because it's like a mod, so I don't really know. That's coming out August 30th. Maybe we can get lucky, maybe we can get some early access to it. Don't really know if I would upload it early, though. That's another thing. FaZe also reaches out to me with sponsorships and shit like that, and I turn 98% of things down, so they still try to help me all the time. Yeah, I'm just super excited for that just trying to figure out what the fuck i'm gonna upload tomorrow after this now we'll figure it out anyway uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video my most recent videos popping up on the screen here leave a like if you guys enjoyed sorry for not playing a game today just chilling fuck it and uh yeah it's been gem guys later